So welcome to Angel Health Academy. Subject, Community Health Nursing. Topic for the day is Health System in India. In this video, I would like to talk about the health system at the central level. India is the biggest democracy in the world. It is a union of 29 states and 7 union territories. Healthcare delivery system in India is well organized and administrated as health system in India. Thus, organization and administration of health system is an important concern. The functions in relation to health system distributed in between both centers and states uh, has been written in the 7th schedule of Indian constitution as a uh, three list. Union list, state list and uh, concurrent list. In relation to health system, the main functions of central government is policy making, planning, guiding, assisting, financing, evaluating and coordinating the activities of the state governments. So let us discuss organization and administration of health system in India. Health organization and administration in India are classified into three levels that is central level or national level, state level and the district or local level. Let us discuss today health system at the central level. Health system in India at central level there are three main organization. First one is Union Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, Central Council of Health and Family Welfare and Directorate General of Health Services. The first is Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. Let us discuss in detail about Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. The Ministry of Health and Family Welfare is an Indian government ministry. They are charged with the health policy in India. It is also responsible for all government programs relating to family planning in India. Since 1955, the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare regularly publishes the Indian Pharmacopoeia through Indian Pharmacopoeia Commission IPC. The Ministry of Health and Family Welfare has got three departments, Department of Health, Department of Family Welfare and Department of Research. Formerly, the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare organization had a Department of Aish. Later in 2014, Aish became a separate Ministry of Aish. The first is Department of Health which deals with health care including awareness campaigns, immunization campaigns, preventive medicine and public health. The bodies under the administrative control of Department of Health includes National AIDS Control Organization NACO, Medical Council of India, Dental Council of India, Pharmacy Council of India, Indian Nursing Council and others. Next is Department of Family Welfare. It is established in 1966. The Department of Family Welfare is responsible for the aspects relating to family welfare, especially in reproductive health, maternal health, pediatrics, IEC, cooperation with NGOs, non-government organizations and even with international agencies and rural health services. Department of Family Welfare is also responsible for the 18 population research centers PRCs, at 6 universities and 6 other institutions across 17 states in the country. The third department is Department of Health Research. The Department of Health Research, DHR, was created in 2007 and became a functional for the promotion of research in India. The Department of Ayush established in 1995 as Department of Indian System of Medicines and Homeopathy. Later, it was renamed as Department of Ayush in 2003. But the Department of Ayush no more falls under the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. It was elevated to the Ministry of Ayush with the effects of 9th November 2014. Next is organization of Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. Ministry of Health and Family Welfare headed by a cabinet minister, a state health minister and a deputy health minister. The Department of Health is headed by secretary, then followed by additional secretary, joint secretary, assistant secretary, deputy secretary and large administrative staffs. Department of Family Welfare headed by secretary, two joint secretary, a commissioner, two deputy commissioner, six regional directors, deputy secretary and large administrative staffs. Next is functions of Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. The functions of Ministry of Health and Family Welfare are scheduled in the 7th schedule of the Indian constitution as union list and concurrent list. Union list are the functions, 9 functions of the central government and concurrent list includes 8 functions that has to be done both the central and the state governments. So the union list. The first function is international health and port quarantine. Second function is administration of the central institutes of health. For example, All India Institute of Hygiene and Public Health, Kolkata, All India Institute of Medical Science, Delhi, etc. The third function is promotion of research in India. And the fourth function is regulation and development of the medical, paramedical, dental and nursing professions. So, professional regulations. Fifth function is establishment and maintenance of the drug standards. So, drug standards. Sixth function is census. 
So once in 10 years, the government of India conducts the census. This is the functions of the Union Ministry of Health and Family Welfare and collection and publications of other statistical data. Then immigration and emigration, activities of immigration and emigration. Then regulation of labor, especially in the field of mines and oil fields. Then coordination with the state governments for entering the health activities or organization and administration of the health system and health care delivery system in India. So these are the nine functions comes under union list. Second is the concurrent list. It is the responsibility of the both central government and uh, state government. It includes prevention of extension of communicable diseases, prevention of adulteration of foodstuffs, control of drugs and poisons, vital statistics, labor welfare other than the mines and oil fields, ports other than the major and doing the quarantine, then economic and social planning in our country and last one is population control and family planning. So these are the eight functions under concurrent list. I have done a separate video of, for functions of uh, union list and concurrent list with mnemonics. You can refer for that video for the further information. So in short, health system in central level mainly classified into three organizations, Union Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. It has got three departments, that is Department of Health, Department of Family Welfare and Department of Health Research. The main functions of Union Ministry of Health and Family Welfare are listed in the two list of the 7th Schedule of Indian Constitution, that is Union List and Concurrent List. Union List has got 9 functions and Concurrent List has got 8 functions. Union List are the functions of the central government alone and Concurrent List are the functions of the both central and state government. The second health system at central level is Central Council for Health and Family Welfare. Central Council of Health and Family Welfare were established by a presidential order on 9th August 1952 under the Article of 263 Indian Constitution to provide the support and advice to the Department of Health on policy formulation. So it acts as a constitutional body and it is the apex policy making body in the health sector. Central Council of Health and Family Welfare is headed by Union Health and Family Welfare Minister and the members are all the state health ministers. The objectives. First is maintaining cooperation between center and state governments. Second objective is policy making related to the health and health matters. Third objective is encouraging joint activities between the center and state in relation to health care delivery system and the organization and management of or administration of health system in India. So next is functions of Central Council of Health and Family Welfare. There are six functions. First function is making plans and policies for the development of health care services in the entire nation and for the promotion of the facilities for training and research activities in the areas of health care delivery system. Second function is make proposal for legislation or act in the areas of medicine and public health. For example, proposal for the public health act. Third function is make recommendations to central government for providing grant in aids and other financial assistance or support to the state governments for the medical services. Then fourth function is review the activities of those state governments in terms of the grants allotted. Fifth function is promoting and maintaining a cooperation between the centers and state in organization and administration of the health services in the nation. The sixth function is, last function is preparing the draft based on the policies and the recommendations related to the medical care, environment, nutrition and the medical education. The last organization at central level is Directorate General of Health Services, DGHS. DGHS or Directorate General Health Services headed by a Director of General Health Services is considered as the principal advisor to the Union Government in relation to the various health matters and uh, Director of General Health Services deals with both medical and public health activities in the nation. Director of General Health Services assisted by additional Director General of Health Services and with a team of doctors and large administrative staff. So this organization of Director General of Health Services, DGHS include Director General of Health Services and he is assisted by additional Director General of Health Services, Assistant Director General of Health Services, Deputy Director General of Health Services and with large administrative staffs. The Director General of Health Services include three main units. One is Medical Care and Hospitals, second is related to public health and third one is regarding general administration. Medical care and hospital, public health and general administration. So in short, health system 
at central level the last organization is director general of health services dghs it is headed by director general of health services and uh, he is the chief advisor to the government of india in relation to health matters so under director general of health services there are deputy director general headed for the unit of medical care and hospital and another deputy director general for uh, public health in uh, through primary health center and another deputy director general for general administration in relation to health matters next is functions of dghs so there are mainly two functions general functions and uh, specific functions the general functions includes conducting surveys then planning programming coordinating and making a monitoring or appraisal of all the health matters in the country next is the specific functions there are 11 specific functions first is international health and quarantine like union list also the first function is international health and port quarantine here is international health and quarantine is the same function specific functions of dghs second is control of drug standards in the nation then make a medical store depot to supply the medical appliance to all the states in the nation and uh, promote the postgraduate training that is postgraduate training then medical education promotion of medical education promotion of medical research then planning and uh, making strategy for national health programs in the country then central government health schemes for the central government employees then national health statistics uh, making national health surveys and making statistics then central health education bureau to supply the the necessary things for the uh, iec programs in the country last one is national medical library maintaining and organizing a national medical library at the central level so these are the 11 functions of specific functions of directorate general of health services so the summary let us summarize the topic today we have discussed about the Health system at the central level. Health system in India at central level includes Union Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, Central Council of Health and Family Welfare, Directorate General of Health Services, DGHS. Union Ministry of Health and Family Welfare is headed by a cabinet minister, a state health minister, a deputy health minister. It has got three departments, Department of Health, Department of Family Welfare and Department of Health Research. Central Council of Health and Family Welfare is headed by Union Health Minister and the members are all the state health ministers. Director General of Health Services is headed by Director General of Health Services. He is the Chief Advisor to the Government of India. And under is there is a Deputy Director in three different units that is Medical Care and Hospital, then Deputy Director General for uh, Public Health and through Primary Health Center and Director General for General Administrations. Health System Central Level Functions. Union Ministry of Health and Family Welfare has got two functions under the Union List and Concurrent List. There are nine functions under Union List and eight functions under Concurrent List. Central Council of Health and Family Welfare has got six different functions. Director General of Health Services has got two types of functions, general functions and specific functions. There are 11 specific functions. You can use this table for the study purpose and you can compare the functions at uh, central level uh, between the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, Central Council of Health and Family Welfare and the uh, Director General of Health Services. So, thanks for watching. Hope this video really benefits in your studies. If you feel it is worth and benefit for you, please like, share and subscribe my channel. Stay tuned with the Angel Health Academy till we meet with uh, another important uh, educational video. Thank you.